everybody. I'm in Ericsdale, Manitoba. That's north of Winnipeg up Highway 6. We're about an hour and a half from the city or so. Got some freight. A bunch of empty barrels in that trailer right there. I gotta deliver that. And then I think we're going home. Haven't got that confirmation yet, but today when I'm filming this is American Thanksgiving, so by the time you watch this, happy belated Thanksgiving to our neighbors next door. As you guys all know, Canada has our Thanksgiving in October, so that's long over for us. So we're in full Christmas mode already. Won't be anything open in the US for me to deliver there tonight yet. And tomorrow, we have a Christmas banquet for work. It's our Christmas party, and I want to be there this year. I've missed so many years in the past, I don't want to miss those anymore. So I got to be home for tomorrow, which means I'm probably not going to go out today. Probably going to take this load, deliver it, and go home. Have a little bit of a long weekend. I'll enjoy some of this long weekend Thanksgiving stuff with you guys down in the States. <laughs> my feed is just filled up. Every American Thanksgiving, my feed just gets filled up with all these Thanksgiving posts. And I always wake up in the morning and I'm all confused. It's like, but it's not Thanksgiving. Why is, why am I getting... Oh, that's right, the neighbors. The neighbors Thanksgiving today. I'm gonna, I'm releasing the video today of us setting up the Christmas tree. I'm not doing that on purpose, but I think it's gonna be funny to read all the comments and all the reactions. They really don't like it, or my American friends anyways, they're, they don't want the Christmas decorations up before Thanksgiving, right? That makes sense. You gotta decorate for Thanksgiving and then you take that down and you put Christmas stuff up. But in Canada, since our Thanksgiving is like a long time ago, we put up our Christmas tree earlier. So I'm releasing the vlog in a little bit here of us setting up our Christmas tree. And I'm gonna release it on American Thanksgiving and see what the response is. We're getting the juices moving, warming her up. Look how dirty it is. Eee. It's disgusting, right? We'll fix that. We'll, we'll fix that this weekend. But, your truck's not dirty. Have you really been working? This time of year, along with uh, springtime, very messy. Because right now, the temperature's above freezing, right? So some the snow's melting, the roads are wet. Plus, they put salt down because the, the roads freeze at night. So they have to salt the roads, sand the roads, but then it all melts during the day, and then it just makes your truck just dirty, dirty. We have to get through this season, though. And we got to get through the cold spell the winter polar vortex. And once that's passed, all the way downhill to the beautiful valley of summertime. Beaches, camping, bonfires, barbecues. Yeah. All right, everybody. Let's rock. And let's roll. Yeah! It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a sunshade kind of day. Gonna be driving straight into that ball of fire all the way south.
Look at that. Well, here we are. I just got the pickup out of the shop. Got the pressure washer outside. You can see the hose leading out there already. I don't want to let uh, Old Blue sit in here at all with all that salt on the frame. I don't think that's fair. Um, it didn't ask to be driven in these, you know, in, in this climate with all the salt. It didn't ask for that. I put it through that, so it's up to me and it's my responsibility to make sure that I maintain it and that I take care of it. What am I going for over here? The bull snot bar. So we're gonna wash all the salt off and then we're gonna back it in here. Let it dry off while I get all my stuff out of it. Once all my stuff is out of it, hopefully it'll be somewhat dry. I can use a microfiber to dry off the doors if I, if I have to. I'm hoping that I'll have some time tonight yet to take off that incorrectly spelt town name and put my new, my new decal on the door. If not today, then, well, soon. I'm a busy man. Sometimes it bothers me a little bit how busy I am. But if you want to be successful in life, you can't be lazy. You, if you have spare time and you're bored, there's something wrong. Honestly, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. If you have nothing to do and you're sitting at home and you're wondering what to do, looking around, twiddling your thumbs and bored, there is something wrong. You need to find something productive to do with your time, something that will bring you in something in return. There's always something to do. Whether it be taking care of your assets, like my truck, it's a depreciating asset, so the money I spend into it, I'll never get back. It depreciates. So the only thing I can do is maintain it and take care of it the best I can, so that at least it doesn't depreciate as fast, hopefully, and I can make it work for me as long as possible. You know, Honestly, I don't ever want to buy a new truck. I love this truck. This truck is everything I've ever wanted. I know it doesn't have a studio sleeper. So I gotta say, it's everything I wanted minus the studio sleeper, but that's okay because for the work I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm so happy doing this regional work. I'm, <laughs> I can honestly say I've never been so happy with my work, with the schedule I have. I get to do what I love. I get to go out there on the highway, get my trucking bug out of me and still be home on a regular basis with my wife and my, my baby that's coming. I wanna be there as much as possible. And uh, this is a good balance, I think. I mean, we got ourselves a good shop right here. Uh, we need to wash this floor today though, look at this. Winter time is a lot of work. So going back to the, the being bored thing, if you are bored sitting at home, find something productive to do with your time. You shouldn't be bored. I wish I had the luxury of being bored. That is a luxury. If I was bored just for one day, I'd be a happy man. But there's always, always work to do. And you can't let that get you down. That's a good thing. It's always work to do. Like, if I was bored today, you know what I would do? If I had absolutely nothing to do, all my videos were edited, uploaded, the truck was sparkling clean, you know, loads were delivered, Everything at home was taken care of, house was taken care of, wife was taken care of, kids were taken care of, and there was literally nothing for me to do. And I had the day to myself. Let's say maybe the wife goes to visit uh, the mother-in-law uh, or, or something, and I'm just stuck at home by myself, nothing to do, and literally have no work to do. You know what I would do? This bike here needs to be dusted, needs to be polished. It's been sitting in here. That's something I could do. This quad has been dirty for years. I haven't had the chance to wash it. Uh, it's got a rebuilt motor, it needs new rims in the front. It needs some work to it, right? I can work on that. This tractor has a, a leak in the front tire there and a leak in the back tire back there. I could take those tires off and take them to get repaired. That's something to do. These chairs right here, we need to finish these off. Uh, we, these were a gift from Britt's dad. They're awesome. We have them on our... Uh, 
uh, outside our house during the summer, but for the winter time, I brought them in here. We need to uh, clean them off a little bit, sand them down, and seal them. It's one, two, something to do, right? Let me take a look around. It's a mess in here. I've spent a lot of time cleaning up in here and it's still a mess. If that's not enough to do and I finish all of that stuff, I need to organize that right there. Look at how messy that is. I don't like it that way, okay? I'm, I'm not a messy guy. I don't like it this way. Garbage needs to be taken out. That I gotta do anyways, but all of this can be organized. Look at this, my just Come on, Josh. Bare minimum, man. Bare minimum, okay. But uh, I could organize this. I could definitely make that look a lot better, right? This is all of our storage for our house. Uh, we have such a small house right now, we have nowhere to store that. So it gets brought into the shop here. There's not much more I can do to organize that, but I can make it look better, right? I can make it look better. Maybe I could build some shelving in here. If all of that was done, maybe I could build some shelving in here so we have more storage, right? There's always something to do. Young people out there watching this, teenagers that are watching me right now, I'm glad you're watching Trucker Josh. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, I know you young ones, you know how to subscribe, okay? You know how to subscribe much better than, than your parents. The button's right down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm not trying to lecture you here. I'm trying to motivate you. I'm trying to inspire you a little bit. I'm 34 years old. Where do you want to be when you're 34? Do you want to be at this point? Maybe you want to be further along. Do it the best. And look at your competition. Look how your competition's doing. Uh, I, I have my shop here. There's other shops in this area here, right? Lots of truckers. We live in a trucking community. Steinbeck is filled with truckers. There's a guy here who washes his truck. Seriously, every single time I'm here, he's out there washing his truck. And it makes me feel guilty because he washes his truck and keeps his truck cleaner than mine. He's my inspiration. I'm hoping I can be your inspiration. My goal right now is to keep my truck cleaner than his. Challenge myself. All right, and if I fail, that's okay. His truck is always clean. It's hard. It's hard, but uh, we're going to try our best. I'm going to go wash down Old Blue, and I'll talk to you in a bit. It's nowhere near perfect, and it's nowhere near done yet, but it's better. And I'm not settling for just, oh, it's better. Don't, don't worry. I'm going home right now, though, but I'm not settling. We're going to come back and uh, polish this up a little bit more. Let's see. I should be able to see myself in those rims. I can sort of see myself in the center there, see? I should be able to see myself in there too. So I gotta wipe them down a little bit better, polish it up a little bit better. The tank is not completely clean here yet, but better, right? The salt is off the frame, salt's off the truck, and uh, it's winter time, what can you do? It, uh, it's really hard to keep things clean in this time, this time of year. 